Hello, I'm Tom Palmer, the children's author, um, and I write books like these. This week, from the 15th to the 20th of June 2020, it's Refugee Week, where we, we can, can think and spend more time thinking about refugees who have come from other countries to live in our country, and, and why it's a good thing that we take people from countries where there's war and other disasters happening to come and live with us in our country. And I reflect that in my books. One of the main reasons is I go into schools a lot and I meet children um, and their teachers um, who have been refugees frequently, like recently from, from Syria, where as you probably know, there's been a terrible war for, for a long time now. Um, so when I write books, for instance, in D-Day Dog, the main character, Jack, has a friend who's a girl called Cassandra and she's from Syria and they they go to um to to Normandy in France where the second some of the second world war took place and they they are being taught about places being bombed and what war is like and Jack the main character realizes that Cassandra she's actually seen that her her town where she lived was bombed and she went away from there so that she could come and live in this country um to, to be safe as a refugee. And, and that strikes Jack when he's thinking about World War II that actually wars are happening right now and we have to worry about children and adults who, who, who need, need some support, perhaps even to come and live in this country as refugees. And I also do something similar in this book, but this is about, um, this in this story, there are two boys who've come from Syria and they, their parents aren't alive anymore and they're being looked after by a family quite near an Iron Age hill fort and, and what I've tried to do in this story is tell the story of these boys coming from Syria but also tell the story of what it was like when the Romans in um, in early in um, what was it about 43 AD I think roughly um, they when the Romans invaded this country and um, the the Iron Age people so the people who are from who lived in this country they became refugees and a lot of them moved to the southwest of England to get away from from the Romans. So that is a story about refugees 2000 years ago, but, but also now. And that, I wrote those stories because for me, I meet children today who are children today who are refugees. And I wanted to represent them in my stories, but the book I've got coming out next is called After the War. And this is about some refugees who came to this country 75 years ago. And this for me, I learned a lot writing this book because these boys who came 75 years ago when they were 14, 15 years old, some of them, are still alive and I've met some of them and spoken to them and I realized that these, these children came from the Holocaust they had suffered all of their families had been murdered all of their homes they had nowhere to go to they couldn't even go back to their their home villages and towns and so um, I I met some of them now in their 90s and they they've told me their story but they've not just told me their story of how they came to this country as refugees and and what had happened to them before they told me what's happened to them since they've come to this country these all of the, the people that i interviewed in um, in this book and listened to and you can see i've got a picture of them somewhere hang on you can see them here they came to live in this country and they went on to start families and um, to uh, to start businesses to employ people and um, to take part in charities one of them even became um, a weightlifter and, re and weight represented great britain in the olympic games um, so this this is a story although this story ends when um just not long after the refugees come and live in this country um this is also a story about how if we welcome refugees into our country from other places in the world they become really important parts of our community they become part of britain and one of the thing when they're interviewed when you see them being interviewed one of the main things they say is they are proud to be british because even though they were born in poland and they came to live in this country in their teens they really feel that they are british and for me that's really important because it makes me realize that yes yeah, refugees come from other countries and we we hopefully do our best to look after them and that's what we should try to do but Remember that they'll become members of our community and, and they'll they'll take a major part in, in 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 the United Kingdom. And that's that I suppose that's what I'm thinking about in Refugee Week. I'm thinking about refugees now who we need to support now, but I'm also thinking about refugees um, and the contributions that they have made to, to Britain. So look out for other stuff to do with Refugee Week um, from the fifteenth to the twenty first of June. Thank you for listening.